Do not worry. Well, uh, howdy folks and welcome to a brand new episode of Do Not Worry. I am your host, Anthony, coming to you uh, from Juni with uh, Noul, the crew member. How's it going, Noul? Oh, good. How are uh, you? Good. Elijah isn't here. He uh, he has a like work meeting at 7 o'clock. Uh, it's only me and Noul tonight. Uh, we got... Uh, oh, and this is, by the way, our first episode sponsored by our good friends over at 16mm, the greatest bar in the Beirut. Is that <laughs> I added that. That is not their slogan. But so we're going to talk. We're going to... If you guys want to find out how you can get a free drink and multiple free drinks, uh, I suggest you keep watching till our... Uh, our ad segment a little bit later in the show. So uh, we're going to hook you guys up, all right? So thank you to 16mm for sponsoring this episode. Thank you to all of our patrons, uh, who, by the way, we got a brand new patron, a brand new uh, blonde patron this week, Antoinette Saab. Thank you for joining. And Kamal Milki, a, an abductee patron who just upgraded to uh, to blonde. He's also he's the founder of Tribu. So thank you, Kamal, and thank you, Antoinette. And a quick thank you to other beautiful patrons like Enzo S, Daniel, Habib, Tufik, Fakih, and Genius Baboon, uh, Sarah M, Karim Haber, Rani Nasser, Mo K, some beautiful superhero patrons like Joey To, Adrian N, Mo Hariri, Muhammad Haytham, and got to your patrons, Jessica N, Muhammad Namani, 69ing Monkeys, Andrew G, and Jack Sleeman. God bless our our god tier patrons all of our patrons we love you guys if you guys want to support this channel support us on patreon let me keep paying my crew uh investing in some other videos equipment like these new microphones all of that good stuff we cannot do this without you guys seriously uh, patreon is the reason why we're still here so check out our patreon and support us if you can uh, we have a lot to talk about this week uh we are going to be talking about uh john ashar i don't know is it ashar I don't I think it's no Ash. Uh, it's this no guy idea. who does rap. He's really he's, he's very interesting. He's uh, like a relationship coach and a relationship coach. That's right. He's a rapper slash relationship coach. He does everything. Yep. Uh, Doctor Food had an interview with his wife. Uh, it's the podcast interview we kind of looked at last week. But I I watched the whole thing. You guys were welcome. Uh, so we're gonna react to that. I didn't even know she was his wife for, until like halfway through the interview. And we're gonna react to some. There's a very family. Lebanese racist family on on YouTube. They make videos. Their name is Aile Fanny, and they have like this blackface character. She's a recurring character in like most of their videos. Uh, we're gonna react to some Twitter stuff, and we're finally doing, folks, a taste test for. Can, give me one of these cups for these protein cups. We got we got a cup, the controversial a cup, and this other Lebanese brand called Poem Sweet Health. They have their own protein cups. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing some taste tests, trying different flavors. Uh, let's see if we can taste the protein, you know, I, we, maybe we can taste the 40 grams of protein. So we're going to be doing that taste test. And uh, we have some more A-Cup stuff. Uh, Muhammad, wellness coach Muhammad responded to our video from last week. Uh, he also had some beef with our, with friend of the show, Lynn Sanity. She did not used to be a friend of the show, but now she is. She is. Thank goodness. Uh, and yeah, maybe a few more things here and there. We're going to talk about House of the Dragon at the end. We forgot to talk about it last yeah. week. Like the video leave a comment uh forgot about that last week and subscribe to the channel we actually crossed the 7,000 mm -hmm. subscriber mark while i was in the states so that was pretty nice thank you guys that was a nice little surprise while i was just chilling there yeah so as i mentioned uh, we're sponsored by 16 millimeter for this week and by the way folks uh, our show is looking for sponsors so if you have your own little business or you work at a company and you're thinking hey maybe they can benefit from some advertising on do not worry folks the future of advertising is here uh, hit us up. You can shoot us an email. Or you can hit us up on, on Instagram. All that information is in the description. You know, we got an email address, do not worry pod at Gmail. Hit us up with some opportunities, folks. Let's keep this podcast going. Uh, what else? I wish Elijah was here for this. Uh, no yep. offense. No I offense. I wish Elijah was here. <laughs> you got nothing to do. You got no extra responsibilities. But I'm downloading God of War as we speak. I had to turn off right now the PlayStation just because I'm using the UPS. But like I've been downloading it all day yesterday. By the time this episode comes out, God of War will be out. Elijah and I are both downloading it right now. We will both be playing that game when it's out on Thursday. It's 106 gigabytes to download. So happy for you. I had to use, I've used like 85 gigs of my 104G gigs. Because I was in the States for a month, so I didn't use any of my data. So I came here and I'm dumping all of it to download God of War. Very excited, folks. I'm not, I ain't going to lie. And Elijah would tell you the same if you were here. Uh, also, funny story, something happened to me before we get into any of the real topics. Ballroom Blitz, folks. I ain't never been to the Ballroom Blitz in my life. 
And I really haven't been clubbing or partying in Lebanon in a long time, ever since the, uh, the Grand Factory mishap on this podcast. I've not been to a single Grand Factory venue or event, maybe Bulgala at once, but I don't think so. Not that, the, not that they have banned me or anything, I've just always felt it would be awkward. At the Hadula, they banned you. <laughs> that would be kind of cool if they banned me, but like, uh, I'm not banned as far as I know. Let me know, you know, <laughs> I don't know. It would be nice to leave the house from time to time. But uh, my cousin was visiting from the States. What up, Jeremy? So uh, we were like drinking out at another place that I've only been to like once before. But Razaville, I'm so not the kind of guy who leaves the house and goes out. Uh, so we were there, we're drinking, it's like late, we're like, fuck it, my cousin wants to go to, to, to barroom, let's take him to barroom, let's have a good time. I'm like, fuck it, I guess this is a, as good a time as any to go. By the way, I got recognized a whole bunch that night, which was weird. I, I know, like, barroom, uh, like the barroom goers, Kelma ends up, they're like, hey, hi, and like, they're the sweetest well, people ever. Barroom, not, well, barroom, I'll tell you guys how I got in, but like at Brazzaville, there was a bunch of people that like walked up and were yeah. like, just talking and like, like hey, we love yeah, the show. Yeah, when you audience, Tabana. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty crazy. It was surprising. Uh, okay. It was very weird. I'm always super awkward, but I always appreciate when people walk up and like, have seen the show. But then we get to barroom, folks. It's me and my three cousins or four dudes it's like 4 a.m though it's not like the event was popping or like there was like an important dj that was just like a regular ballroom night so we show up we're four guys my cousin's like they might not let us in we're guys i'm like bro it's 4 a.m like i think they're just happy to get the admission i don't know so we just show up there really late and the lady just looks at us she's like yeah i'm sorry you're four guys we're not letting you in to the bar we're like but it's like it's super late it's our cousin he's here she's like sorry guys had a part of me not really, but like, I was like, should I try to be like, hey, uh, I host this show on YouTube. You might want to let us in. I was like, obviously not. I've so never, you've never heard of. Exactly. I've never done that before in my life. I'm never going to do that now. So I was like, all right. We just very gently were like, all right, well, we'll just walk away. We're leaving. There was this dude who walks up. You recognize him. He's like, yo, dude, fucking love the podcast. High fives me. He's like, yeah, I hope you're having a good night. I'm like, not really. They, they're not even letting us in. So like, we've had no, no night here yet. He's like, what? They're not letting you in? One sec. He just walks away, walks towards the bouncer and like the lady, I don't know what the fuck he tells them. He whispers something in their ear that they, they just look back up to me. They're like, just come in. I'm like, all right, fuck. Yeah. I'm like, thank you, dude. His name is Abed. Abed, if you're watching, thank you, my man. You let us, thank you, Abed. You, you're the reason why I got into ballroom blitz. So we went in as soon as I walked in, I understood why the lady didn't want to let us in. It was like a bunch of fucking dudes <laughs> everywhere in the club. I'm like, oh, I get it. I get it. You know, but it was, it was nice. I mean, we spent our time losing people and then walking from one room to the next trying to find the people then you find someone but you lose someone else you've had like this is peak ballroom experience i think yeah, yeah. I, I think that's what it's all about so we had that that's what happened walked around hey where's that guy well we lose him we find someone else like all right we found him oops where's my other cousin so but it was nice Abed, again you're the man and ran into a bunch of people there uh, who also watched the show so um that was nice there was a guy in the bathroom who was kind of threatening he's like what did he say so we're all a little bit drunk. He was really drunk. He looks at me. Then he's like something like, something like, I'm like, oh, like, I hope you like the show. He's like, kind of, not really, but sometimes. It was good work anyways. <laughs> and he just walks out. I'm like, all right. Okay. It's always weird. Anyways, that's, that's my experience. Abed, you're the man. Thank you. Uh, this kind of, this is kind of like a llama type humor when you see something in, in Italian, but you make, or in another language and you turn it into English. But this was too funny. My friend, who I think is currently either chilling in London or in Italy, I'm, I'm not sure where this is. I think probably in Italy. Sends me this. There's a pizzeria called Bellillo Pizzeria <laughs> Napolitana. And then he literally is like, I had to go to Bellillo. Here's a photo <laughs> of like the, the menu. Bellillo. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't even think that's how I they say that. it. I love that. But I would totally go to Belillo, Belillo pizza. pizza. So pizza. Mark, Mark Aid, uh, thank you for sending me this thing. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you enjoy the pizza. They told me it's actually pretty nice, the pizza. Mm -hmm. So it's not bad, uh, Belillo pizza. Uh, all right, let's get ready to move into these uh, main, mainer topics. Uh, this guy, he's he's called Jonas Nashad. He has four thousand followers on TikTok. He's a rapper genius. He's an actor, dating coach, rapper. DM me on Instagram for a dating, dating therapy. therapy. <laughs> dating therapy. Yeah, he even called it dating therapy. Hey, Jonas. Everybody knows that John the Kidman John is the man to go to for dating mm -hmm. advice. So know your role, buddy. Anyway, he's got a bunch of videos where he does advice and where he raps. And I first, the first thing I saw was honestly a rap video. Let's just watch his rap stuff. I hope these beats aren't copyright. Hey, da basiella. So, 
Help me, is this what you're looking for? Wake up early and make a, make a, make a, make a real Embrace that vision, cause remember how me you are that Fucking musician It's so weird I like him, how goes it? Uh, I don't want you can't really tell This is the first thing that I saw of him This was what introduced me to him And this is an insane, it's like a Halloween themed rap My bad, it's a lot of murder Yeah Say good night. You're gonna die tonight. When I pull out the kitchen knife, best believe. Best believe. I will end your fucking life. So do not even try to fight me, because you won't survive. And when you're dead, I'll come back to haunt you in the afterlife. Jonas on the mic. And I'm representing Halloween. Come to take a life, and I'm ready to drown a team. Really? I just really love the thrill of the kill, and that's a fact. Going on a murder spree, cowering the bodies as they stack. Bitches? Bitches? Sometimes he sounds like a cartoon character. You know I, what I, mean? I really like him. He's very good. If you got to know like me, his main inspiration is Eminem. Eminem, the aggressive, Bain. Bain. aggro. Yeah. He he is better. Yeah, he's bad. <laughs> he's bad. He's not that bad. You're not that bad, but like, there's, no, no. There's something there. Like if he actually developed his skills and stuff, he could actually, I think, be a semi-decent rapper. Let's not let's not get carried away here. You know. La, you can be good. If you're watching this, you can be good. Okay. Let's watch some of his uh, his dating advice first before you get. Uh, you know. What's up, gentlemen? So today we're gonna talk a little bit about some things that the girl is focused on, and you're not focused on the girl. So number one, who's the first one? مثل ما بيقولوا كل من تعاشر كل لك من انت هذا شيء مهم للبنت وبيأثر على العلاقه وانه انت بالفتره اللي عم تتعرف عليها للبنت لما بدها تعرف انت مين عم بتعاشر لو فاليو هاي فاليو يو نو سين نمبر 2 المشي تبعك فريندز ار امبورتنت يو كان تيل ا لوت باوت ا بيرسون فروم ذا بيبل ذات دي شو ذاتس ترو لانه اذا انت ماشي وعامل كلوزنج بادي لانجويج بتفرجي البنت انه انت ما عندك ثقه بحالك وانت خجول ويو نو سين اتس نوت اي بلس ذاتس اي فاكن تورن اوف للبنت وي لايك ذا تشين جنرال لايف قصه شعرك القصه هي بارت من الستايل اذا انت مثل ما انا كنت قبل اقول انه اذا اف يو ار نوت ستايلش يو فاكن ويستد ف مش انه يلا هلا شو دارج بعمل كل البنات بحبوا هالشيء ما تشمل حدا ما في شيء اسمه كل البنات كل بنت عندها عندها ذوقها كل شخص شاب او بنت انت بدك تعمل شو انت بترتاح مش انه اه يلا بدي ارضي اه رفيقي رضا رفيقته او صاحبته بالطريقه فانا بدي ارضي كمان البنت اللي انا عم بحكيها بالطريقه ما هيدي اوعى تعملوها لانه مثل ما بيقولوا بدك تكون سبيشل بكل شيء مش بس انه تقول لها انا سبيشل وما ادري شو منيح Yeah, we need to add this guy to the uh, Do Not Worry <laughs> Awards. We got to humanize it if you don't have to. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. So, number four. This is a little bit, I think, I don't know if everyone knows. But it's not known. Again, I don't know if everyone knows. The girl is going to be like the girl is going to be like the girl. The girl is also the same thing. If you don't have a apple butt, man, you wasted. Oh, it's talking about men, men's asses. Okay. For this is what I'm going to be talking about. Apple butt. Talking about it. Shab, mama, what's the news? I'm going to be talking about it. Or there are some people who know about it, and there are some people who don't know about it. To make do more lunges. Okay. Is that true? Uh, number five. Is there a big focus on the ass? No, I know. Is that if a guy has like a nice ass, I know. Okay. It's a plus. It's a plus, but I know. It's not necessary. Mis preference, yeah. Okay. I call it a nikon and the nerve. Reha tam mniha. Yeah, mis ano mit kan mit jay mis ek mis bale u jay am tahki al bale. This stuff is all pretty basic. Saat da btla an saat li. Ma tkoun merif. Yeah, and we're not gonna do this. Brush your teeth. Number six. Ma tati u jla min makan. Yi mit kabar la mis mit kabar. I'm just myself. Ubiyan ano ana ma bati u jla min makan. That's it. 
a serious guy. So basically, whole umur li an ahna hanhki fiyon. I'll see you next time. Bitches. Bitches. Is that his like sign off? Well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna watch a second video. Yalla. Oh, it's only a minute. Thank, thank the Lord. More advice. Hey, the shoe. Mid dollar. Mid dollar. Right. Type. I'm a hey, the mid dollar. Chala, my kunfi copyright. Is uh, jah lakta. Ma hader sirfa bil 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 su. Ma, kala wa fi nasr. Ta bezat aast alayo. ما في ناس تعمله؟ في ناس تعمله. يعني قيمتها ما راحت بعدها 100 دولار. مثل البنات. طيب ليش البشرية بده يجي واحد مش معروف قرعة أبوه من وين؟ بده يقول لنا كلمة بده يحطنا بالأرض ونجي بالآخر وي ستارت تو كومبلين أباوت أي كان دو إت أني مور. مين؟ بس كوبي رايت. نوت كومبلين. فور كوبي رايت. أي دو نوت اكسبلين. Okay, embrace the vision for a better tomorrow. Ella, did you have to embrace the vision for a better tomorrow? Anna, I'm, I'm just distracted. And Hatitli Daido in the back. Was that her name? <laughs> Even if I could. <laughs> oh, he went on television. Come in. Hey, the jail copyright. Hello. As a bilah zuktir, the bennet fi awat anda metal nafsiyat al cat. بتشوف انت بتمشي البسينه شي اونز هير ستيبس البسينه بتمشي بطريقه كثير واسعه هي وعم تمشي ايه فالبنت كمان نفس الشيء عندها اياها بشخصيتها ومش مثل ما وقتها بدها اياك تغنجها بتغنجها تفاعلت معها نفس الشيء البنت يعني بدها شوية وقت لتشوف لتشوف كيف انت عم تتفاعل اذا يو ار لاير اور نوت سو اكيد يعني كمان بالنهايه عقل تو بي فير ايف ميت سو ماني جيرلز ذات Refer to themselves like I'm like a cat. Like, I'm like okay, I've you heard. Have? And I'm like I've heard that a million times. Is like, it a thing? It is a thing. It's not as original as y'all think it is. Okay, everybody's a fucking cat. Of course, you know what I mean. This was that's all I gotta say on that. So he is right about that. But so generally, I mean, uh, it's not even an observation that people make. Just a lot of women refer to themselves. I'm like, you know, you need, oh, he pet me whenever I want. I've heard it too many times. شو شو عم نتعرف عليه أكتر وأكتر. لك إيه بس منو كتير كومبليكي صراحة. يعني اللي هلا أوكي أنا لو درسته بس. درسته وين درسته؟ في كتير إذا بدي لك بنات إنه لا روا الشاب لك الشاب هو لأنه ما بيفهم أوقات شو عم بيصير معه بس بس يشوف البنت بيصير يحطها بالبنت وحتى هيدي غلطة البشرية كلها دائما منشوف نحنا الغير. مزبوط ما منشوف حالنا ونعرف نحنا شو عم نعمل. Bro, how did that guy get on? What does he do? My wife, how did he get on TV? Come in, so early. Oh my god. As like as a as a relationship coach, Anna, I can get on TV and for stuff. Shu shu betkun. Anna, b'khabirkun usas. Daiman bisma anu al bint hi al aatli, al bint hi tinzal alaqa, al bint al al kizabe, al bint al bint al bint. Tablaq mazal al bint halad aatli na shurik alwaran. Sah. Eh? Awa shi. Tani shi. Wa ta shab. يقتنع انه اتس نيفر اباوت مان اتس اولويز اباوت وومن صدقني ساعتها ما بيكون عندك مشكله مع ولا بنت بمعنى بدك تسال اسئله عميقه مش تسال اسئله سخيفه وتخلي البنت تحكي كثير لانه اثبتت الدراسات انه البنت بتحكي 20000 كلمه بالنهار والشاب بيحكي 7000 كلمه فخليها تحكي كثير واسمع لها ان يو بي دي وينر Will be the winner. I love. Where did he get those stats? Women say twenty speak. I think he has not met Noor. Noor, I think you speak like two thousand words a day. When you do speak, mum is my hatta. So there's already that. But he's like the anti Andrew Tate. Yeah, Nahida is all about like stop blaming women, respect women. You're the problem, not women. I actually like Hanjad. I like him. He's got it. Like he, he's in none of his advice videos. He's never really blamed women for anything. He's all like, "Enta zabi rihatimak ilak khay." You're the problem. Enta your friends are the problem. Mission no, women just don't get us. Love that. I love. Walla bravo, Jonas. Jonas Ashar, bravo. Hanjad, we found the anti. Andrew Tate, Enta Lizamit Seer, you need to become an inspiration for the youngsters. Uh, folks, we talk a lot about uh, veneers on this show. <laughs> we uh, tick Lebanese TikTokers for some reason, for one reason or another, maybe because they got their phones up into their fucking teeth the whole time. They, they're all, I guess, they have very low uh, self confidence about their teeth. They like file down their like original teeth to like little 
little root or whatever, and then they just fucking install like yeah, this that's horrible, like, mafia fake yeah. denture. Yeah, and a lot of them do it when they're very young. Yeah, and the veneers, you do them when you're older, when you fuck, your teeth are fucked. Khalas, yeah, and you, you, you're out of options. It's time to stick some veneers on. Honey, they're all like in their 20s. They probably have relatively healthy teeth. They're just like, fuck it, I want to have those white chompers. So veneers are a thing. Ooh, uh, our friend Khadr Aslan just, uh, just made, put his own on. Here's a reveal uh, TikTok. Before. <laughs> Bro, they, they look so fake, dude. Like, what the? Hala Mabruk again? But like, don't you think that they look so fake? Let me watch it again. Because they looked so busted before. No, but I'm not a TikToker. They look obnoxiously white. Yeah. His look like a holy the, the mouth guard. Like if you're boxing, you put something over your teeth. Those are super. Uh, like Mabruk, ya ya khidr. His teeth weren't. Were they that bad before? There's another video that appeared on Instagram that someone sent me. Holy mercy! There's a couple of random funsies, guys. You guys want to sell a jacket properly? <laughs> that's come in a very unique to like Lebanon. They look, it is a good looking jacket. Waterproof stuff is always like an easy sell because it's so, when you can demonstrate something so clearly, but it's like it went with the whole vibe yeah he was like he busted yeah the whole, he, all of them he does yeah no we're not we're not bullying we're not making fun of anybody's face or anything but no uh, you know the teeth aren't the first thing i think about but you know what now we're happy for him don't no more uh, no more porn videos huh <laughs> now we fix the teeth we fix no more porn tapes no no to be all right well it's time to talk about that Dr. Food interview, folks, I watched it, okay? He went on a brand new uh, podcast, a small Ruby Stars. She, it's so, it's so, it's so like cheesy. I, I can't believe they made a podcast like that. It's quite old fashioned. Not that I want to poop on any other, uh, you know, local podcasts, but some, um, super not my style. I got a bunch of clips, okay? Let's just see. Honey, this is the intro. Just, just if you all see Evan, go, go. <laughs> I'm so happy and you didn't make me watch this. <laughs> yeah, I made, I watched, because I knew you wouldn't have watched it. <laughs> this is just like the, just the intro, just tells you everything you need to know about the show. It's so weird. Great start. Program is more Ruby Stars. Briefly, Hankun Amjib celebrities, influencers, Alam, social media, Lanshuf. I'm already bored. Uh, I literally had no idea that. So, Shuru is his wife. It's my Shuru Sunrise. Sunshine. Sunshine. On Instagram or something. She's apparently very famous. I never heard of her until this interview. She looked nothing like her wedding video. So, I'm Bahdar. Then, when she starts like flirting with him, I'm like, what's happening? I'm like, oh, that's his wife. So, she's talking about herself, man. شو احساسكم؟ والله احساس جميل بوجودك ان شاء الله بكون تقليعه فيها خير وبركه لك يا الله كيف بيحكوا؟ هيز سو بورد هي سيم سو بورد ذا هول تايم شروق بدي اسالك اول سؤال لك مين شروق سانشاين؟ مين شروق سانشاين؟ اول شيء بقول لك شروق سانشاين انسانه مهندسه 
ثم انفلونسر مؤثرة هيدي هي شروق سنشاين هيك تختصر حالك بالضبط شو بتعملي انت على السوشيال ميديا؟ He's a horrible host. I have a whole bunch of stuff just about him. Listen, this, I, when people speak in the third person, no mean, mean shuru. Mean Joseph Shada. Mean Joseph Shada. Who? Don't answer in the third person, Yana. You know what? People, these people are all so full of themselves. Why the host? Ma chasu ikun host. Ma badi flit Joe Faris. Say the Elijah's friend. Even كل شيء ما في محتوى معين ولكن بحكي للناس. عن يومي كيف بعمله تيابي كيف بلبسون الميك اب اللي بعمله طبخة اللي بطبخها البلاد اللي بسافرة آه عن شغلي أحيانا الفول تايم جوب تبعي آه عن علاقاتي بالناس آه ممكن أدخل ترندز على تيك توك I used to do gaming كمان technically ما في شيء ما جربته على السوشيال ميديا I've done everything anything to get me some attention I've tried it gaming يلا كليب 3 اه هون كمان اسال هوز دكتور فود كمان اتس فاكن طيب دكتور فود زيت السؤال لك انت مين مين دكتور فود؟ اوكي دكتور فود هو شخصيه خلقت من الاف ام بي بالهوسبيتاليتي انشغل اشتغلت هالشخصيه بكذا بلد غرقنا بمشاكل وفشلنا بمشاكل خاصه بالاف ام بي ونجحنا بمطاعم وقدرنا اسسناها وبمطاعم بدات عمرنا فشلنا فيها وترجم هذا الشيء بشيء اسمه دكتور فود لحتى نقدر نأرجي للعالم اللي هي ما بتشوف الاوبريشن داخل المطاعم نأرجي I had never heard on of ارجيني وارجي now I've, I've learned the في لك شيء اكتشفت انه دكتور فود من نفس ضيعة امي so like <laughs> شوي خايفة نكون like somehow related <laughs> like family? please that would be hilarious انكل انكل جورج لا لا ما حنحكي بالموضوع حنتخطى ما نحكي بالموضوع ميبي لايك يا ميبي سم كايند اوف هيك فاميلي تايز بدنا نعرف خلص يعني انت عم انت بتلاقي حالك عملت امباكت على العالم على الميدل ايست موستلي يعني ديسبايت قد ايه عندك هيترز وعالم ما ما بيحبوك مش مزبوط؟ هدول العالم اللي ما بتحبني هن اشخاص بيعطوني بوش لاقدر اكون افضل 100% طريقه حلوه نحن ترانزليت نحن وير سو نايس تو هيم شو شو قلنا يعني لا اول ما بلشنا البودكاست بس اي واز تراينج تو روين هيم لا اي وي كان سعيد شوي يعني بس انه وين هي ديد ذا هول ترابلو سكاكي ثينج ما فتحنا تمنا وير لايك هو جيفز ا فاك يلا هون ليش دكتور فود واي دكتور فود ليش دكتور فود طب ليه ليه دكتور فود ليه ليه هالاسم ليه انت انت يعني ليه آه شو الكرايتيريا نعطيك اياها هلا انت صرت دكتور بالاكل؟ أه انا ماني دكتور بالاكل انا بشتغل اف ام بي شو يعني دكتور بالاكل؟ دازنت اكزست او اوبريشن اليوم نحن منطور من كونسبت اوبريشن واليوم انت بتشوف اليوم على طول في مطاعم جديده عم بتصير كل مره بتروح بتلاقي نقوا اصناف اكل جديده أصناف. موجوده بالمطاعم عم على طول بتتجدد على طول في اصناف بتتجدد هذه الاصناف بتتجدد في وراها عالم ورا الكواليس اللي اسمه اوبريشن مانجر فود برودكشن اللي هن بيجددوا هذا البلا مثل ما انت اليوم بتروح عند حكيم انت مريض بتقول له عالجني اليوم اصحاب المطاعم بيجوا لعندي بيقولوا لي بدي بلا جديده يا خيي عالج المطعم دكتور بقول لك طلع شيء اسمه دكتور فود اوكي يعني انت انوفيتف بهالدومين فيك تقول محفزه شو يقول هيز سمايلز هيز رياكشنز كيف هيز لوكس لايك ما بعرف انت انوفيتف انت انوفيتور مايك هي لوكس لايك كايند اوف لايك ا هيروين ادكت ما بعرف ليه لوكس لايك هي كونستلي وونتس هيروين جو فادس ذا هوست هي لوكس هورني كمان هورني هل هي هاز ا هول هورني كويشن بعد شوي اتس فيري ديستربينج هون جست هي اسكت هير ليش اسمك شرو اند شي واز لايك فاسيد بيت تعمل اي واز جست لايك هو جيفز ا فاك ذس از واي ذيس انترفيوز اند ذيس بودكاست ار لايك مايند نمينغلي اي ام سو جلاد اي دنت سي ذيس شوف شوف طب وشرو انت لا لا هلا شرو اوكي هيدا اسمك بالنهايه بس سانشاين مو معروفة انه سانشاين هي شروق اكزاكتلي يو جيت ذا بوينت سو انا السبب اني اخترت هيدا اليوزر نيم خلينا نقول بيكوز انه انت لما بتعمل اكونت على اي بلاتفورم يو تشوز ا اليوزر نيم ات شودنت بي يور ريل نيم يو انديرستاند 2022 وي نو هاو تو دو يوزر نيمز وي نو هاو يوزر نيمز ورك ان في ام اس ان وي ور اول فاكن 12 يرز اولد لايك اتس ذيس از هاو يو ان ويتش وات ذير از نوثينغ يوسفول ان وات ذير سين يو نو وات اي مين هاف تو تعمل يوزر نيم بتو كونت يو شي اتس ا ديفرنت نيم رايت That's why I have 10 million followers. Like that's why. شروق سنشاين أول شيء اسمي بحبه معناه حلو 
ومعناه بالانجلش حلو شروق صن شاين اس 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 انا اي لاف ذا لتر سن رايز سو يا بس شو شي سن شاين او سن رايز ما معي سن شاين اوت اوف ذا بلو يعني ايه غلط هو نو اي لاف ماي نيم اند اي لاف ايه هو كمان افتر ايفري ثينج شي سيد انه ذاتس واي اتس ماي نيم از لايك اوت اوف ذا بلو يعني لا يا اخي ما قالت لك اسمي شروق نرجع نسمعها هي اوت اوف ذا بلو يا So hey, that's why I chose it. Out of the blue, yani. No, I love my name and I. Fad, she. Are you listening, no. Joe Fadis? I'm Tisma. What am I to say? Love that I have the meaning in Arabic and in English at the same time. You know, but she's very pretty. Okay. She's very pretty. She, she seems like an awesome yeah, person. I'm a Jane. I love sunrise more than. Sunset. Who doesn't? Who wants to be up at 5 a.m.? So this is just like, it's just a combination of some of his just weird stuff. And you, Dr. Food? What's the question? If you went to the back at the time, do you want to change your name as Dr. Food? I'm a good name as George Deeb, Dr. Food. I'm sorry, I'm going to answer this question. شو انت هي بولدن رايان هاي ذات سوبر نو سكتني والله شو انت انا هيز جست سو باد ات ذس اتس يور فيرست ابيسود اول حلقه روبي ستارز هيدا في كثير وقت تو تو امبروف يا جو فارس او از يور كو هوست جست بيلد يو تكون بالجيم كمان ذاتس مين يعني سائله منه اوه ماي جاد زبلته هايك احسن كانترفيور ايه هي هاز بيتر ات ليست ذير وزن ذات ديد تايم انه خلص دغري امونيا طب كيف تعرفتوا على بعض <laughs> Didn't waste any time. Hey, the okay, five second Fuck. pause. Shuru, ma, 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 ma. He's so bad. He's so funny. I have a whole other thing of him, like a montage. Hone shufi. Ah, hone. This is where I realized that she was his wife. Hone, I'm like, ah, okay. He's like, shushu bit habbi fi. Hakito ma bad ala Instagram, yani. أنا حكيته قلت له دكتور فود انت جود فور يو يا تركيا اي ونت فيلم ا فيديو وذ يو يوجوالي اي دونت دو ذات اي دونت نو اي دونت دو ذات ات اول بس قلت هي سمارت هي كونتنت انا بلقط التالنت انا من الناس اللي في ناس دعمتهم على السوشيال ميديا حاليا عندهم 10 و11 و12 مليون متابع سو so انا بس شفت اول فيديو له واو ذس از ا تالنت I was like that. Fatul immediately I contacted him. Yeah, to the Dr. Food. The Shuru. I must say, Fia, Dr. Food. If she saw one of your videos and the first thing that she thought was, "Wow, this is a talent," that, that is definitely not what anyone else thought when they Mm-mm. first saw you. But no, I'm just must say, Fia, hold on to her and never let go. And I think he knows. Yeah, <laughs> he put a ring on it. Who, uh, bravo. I want to make a video with you. Can I'm safer? Tarbashut. Did you want to shoot Kabart on me or did you? I'm just. أنا بجاوب جاوب جاوب لإلي شو السؤال؟ قد حكيتك شروق I love you He's so cute So هون I was like Is he? Then I was like Oh so she's his wife I was gonna شو عم تقشع هي that I'm not seeing Something that none of us are seeing بس ليك He's a رجال هي حبته لأنه رجال بيعيط على العالم خلص ما في no bullshit أنا رجال He's the boss خلص He's the boss خلص Andrew Tate يعني Well, we don't like no, I like here. bosses, but no, خلاص. No, eh, but it's not like that. Uh, shoe. This is so. This is a whole mix of of just awkward moments with the host that I just put together. Do you tell you something and emojis what they talk about? Yes, so all the time. Farjina. Okay. We're taking a bath after the call. Shouldn't. I'm sure I'm going to change your name. <laughs> His laugh, bro, is so goofy. He's such no. a goofy guy, bro. He's too goofy to be hosting that. I'm so telling you. So bad. Nah, I don't know what he's doing. 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 <laughs> she's going to literally correct she's like uh, she's a question what do you mean about your question you need to be more specific in your questions what does he you know the question was very clear <laughs> her, her, her notifications by the way her phone isn't even on silent yeah bloop We know this interview. Looking at her phones or notifications. Know that this is so chaotic. Mafia. Zakertni, Makta, friends. Do you know what I know? Tabar Joey, Rachel, Hador. 
اوكي فرنسا ما جوي بيرتشي يعني الحلو في علاقتنا انه انه نحن كثير صريح اوه Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was the only reason I enjoyed the interview was this fucking host. He's so horrible. When you talk married life, sorry, this is too much of the doctor food, and I'm enjoying this though. I you know. love it. It's, It's so uh, chaotic. When I'm just alone on married life. So I don't mean so, Sarah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. He said that in the creepiest side. Side, Minnak. The emotional side. Trying to get deep. Joe Fair is getting deep. I'm not going to be able to get deep. I'm not going to be able to get deep. ايه انا مش بعبر لها وقت اكون انا وياها بس ما كثير بعبر انا على السوشيال ميديا هذا الشيء وما كثير بحب دخل حي... حياتي العائليه بالسوشيال ميديا يمكن هلا اليوم ما شفت فيديو على راس وكذا بس هي ما بقى تشوفها ملاحظ هي دازت موف هيز ماوث دازت موف اني بدك تفصلوا تفصلوا بدك انتم شخصين بتحبوا بعضكم تبنوا عائله وبدك بين شخص موجودين على السوشيال ميديا ويوم بتتجلجأ كل يوم وبضلك انت وياها فيديوهات كل يوم وكذا خلص بتصير جلجأ يعني انا بتقرفهم كثير بشوف انا على السوشيال ميديا محتوى زلمه بيقرفوا لي حياتي كرنتلي عم يتجلسوا كل يوم كل شيء كثير و بحسهم زبالين صراحه هون زبالين في منو سو كيوت في منو اصحابي بيقولوا بيعتبرهم زبالين ايش هي هي شافته منا مصدقه اجين جود فور يو جايز مبروك نحن وي 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 ستاند لبنانز رويال كابل يعني في جورج كلوني وامل وات واز ذا لاست امل فخر الدين امل امل الدين Al Udin, whatever. Oh on the side, side. We have George Deeb and Shuruq Sunrise. Oh, that's our new royal couple. Sunshine. Man. Sunshine. Not wrong. Shuruq doesn't mean sunshine. <laughs> ah, here, here. You can see the jealousy between them. They're talking about something with the boys. They're making videos. She's like, "Hey, boys." And they're doing the married life uh, rears its ugly head. Shuruq, I want to ask you. Did they do something? But George, he messed with other boys. I? Who other boys? من لما عرفته ما مثل مع بنات بتغيروا ذا شيء الفيديو السبع على تيك توك سوشيال ميديا في كثير فيديوز بكون مثل ايه نحن متفقين في هذا الموضوع انه اذا بده يمثل شيء فيه مودلز اول شيء يعرضوا علي مودلز انا على السوشيال ميديا يعني انا انا حجيب انتراكشن اكثر من المودل اللي حجيبه وانا هيز وايف اذا اند اوف ذا دي مش رح شرجه كثير رح اخذ كل المصاري بس المهم يا ف يا متفقين انه يعرضوا علي اذا انا قلت لا بنجيب مودل انا بجيبه انت بتنقيها شي تشوزز ذا مارلز والسؤال زي بقول لك بتضايق اذا وقتها تمثل معها يلا يا بقرا روحي عم بمزح انا بتضايق وقتها نوثينغ اجينست نوت فات شيمينغ ام جست كيدنج جايز بس هاف ا جود تايم وقتها هي اذا هي مثلت مع غير شباب في حدود فيها تمثل بمقطع معين لشغل معين او فيلم معين او اي شيء وقتها بده يكون في قصص اذا بدك يكون في في مخرجين بيطلبوا عم طلع فيك احكي معي بحكيك طلع فينا لحظه شو خيي؟ طلع فيك حكي بيفع عن حاله شوي هسا حط لك مكرو من خيره مش معي خيي الانترفيو مع الكاميرا شو هيك؟ اوكي اذا في قصص انترفيو مع الكاميرا شو بيك؟ فيها تمثل مع مع جورج غير جورج ما فيها سو خلص مجبورين يعني طبعا اكيد الف حميمة ليك ذا جالس كايند اي ابريشيت اتس جالس كابل You like you like jealousy. I'm no one. You have eyes only for me. We found out that the doctor is colorblind. Doctor Food is colorblind. Ana wala, this brought me closer to him. This this humanized the doctor, made him more of a man. مزبوط عندك عمر ألوين. صح. Oh. أي عمر عرفت. ب بتروح بتقدم. بيعملوا لك فحص صحي. وصلت أنا عند حكيم العيون لقيت. صار يقول لي قريهم قال له ما في رقم يقول لي في رقم بعدين اكتشفت انه ما يعمل وين تفاجأت انه اثرت على حياتك هي السؤال قال لي الضابط قال ما فيك تشوف العدو في بركه في عدو اخضر مثلا ما بتعرف في عدو لونه اخضر ما بتعرف ما بعرف ما قال لي ما فيك تشوف العدو انت غير مؤهل انك تكون عسكري زعلت ورحت على البيت صراحه For some reason, I'm just a mazdi shi, from all heart, mazdi shi, but I'm just not mazdi. La Doctor Food? Eh. 
that he's colorblind. I'm sad. Everything he I says can't. is just, said I can't. He just sounds so bored. What the biyake, uninterested in everything. It's just like. <laughs> but no, actually, that is a thing. In the they they don't let colorblind people. You can't be a pilot. Makes because, sense. Uh, but I'm not sad. Oh, hello. I'm not sad. Doctor food. I'm not a doctor food person. خلاص. I never was a doctor food person. Okay, it is time to thank today's sponsor, folks. 16 millimeter. Okay, it is, uh, in, our opinion, in our humble opinion, the greatest bar in Beirut, at the very least in Jemeza. So 16 millimeter is an awesome little, beautiful little bar located in the heart of Jemeza. It is facing Rebirth Beirut, which is an NGO. It's also just like 300 meters after the police station in Jemeza. They are open from 6 p.m. until 1 a.m. on weekdays and until 2 a.m. on weekends, which means Friday and Saturday, but they close on Sundays for now. We'll let you know if anything changes. Uh, they opened in October of 2019, so they've been around for, for a couple of years. And uh, the bar is basically, Hadi, the founder of the bar, is, is a big cinephile. He loves movies, he's a big geek. So the movie, the, the bar is literally named after like the, the film strips used to like make movies. So uh, it is inspired by cinema. There's, you're gonna see like some ca old cameras on display, a typewriter. There's like uh, movies being projected on the wall at all times, which I love. Kind of, it's always nice to have that it's amazing. in the background. And especially myself as uh, a cinephile, as a film lover, I always feel at home there. Uh, you, you love <laughs> going there. <laughs> go, go for it. <laughs> okay, 16 million. Like seriously, mom, because they're the sponsors. But Sanjad, it's my like safe space whenever i'm like happy or i'm sad like it's always my place to go whenever i want to go out with my friends and we are 16. uh it's like so cozy there i love hadi i love him so much he's a good man uh, like i'm always there to the point where you know all the staff know me kill my whistle and they're like eh, the usual like so let a basis man which is like amazing and i love them so much so like i'm so happy with the sponsorship because like for me it's so genuine <laughs> and we're hooking you guys up with that sponsorship but it's just when you said the usual and uh, there uh, when i was in the states for college uh, there was an indian place and uh, i used to just walk up to like the usual it was that that's weird at an indian restaurant that's where i get my usual love that so anyways uh 16 millimeter um they have their own menu with like there's food there's drinks they have their very own signature cocktails and all the classic cocktails that you might like and i had last time i was there i had the bourbon iced tea which Is i that quite your enjoyed drink? i really liked it because i like bourbon and i like i love iced tea so it was just this very nice combination it was very refreshing and also kind of strong so i quite enjoyed it there's also happy hour folks every day from 6 yep. to 8 p.m enjoy uh, your happy hour and those happy hour prices. There's a I abuse a happy hour. <laughs> well, we're gonna give you something else to abuse in a bit. There's a smoking and not smoking section, and if you have a pet, uh, you can bring it over. Uh, it's a pet friendly place. Uh, the team is friendly. The music is super chill. So, uh, follow their Instagram. By the way, they have an Instagram page. It's 16 uh, millimeter dot Beirut. So uh, check them out, and uh, they'll take reservations. So um, and again. Uh, Hadi, the founder, is a really cool dude, and he's a fan of the show, so uh, that should be enough. That's how I met him, by the way. Awesome. See, that should be enough for you guys to want to go there. But if all of that wasn't enough, we are hooking you guys up, and you know, do not worry. And uh, and 16 millimeter are teaming up to give you guys up to one free drink per day. So what do you do? Starting today, the airing of this video, uh, Thursday, November 10th, until November 24th. So from November 10th till November 24th. Anyone who goes to 16 millimeter and orders a drink, just tell the waiter, do not worry, and you're gonna get a second drink for free. So all you have to do, go to the bar, ask for a drink, you're gonna have to pay for that first drink, but then just tell the, the, the waiter or the bartender, do not worry, that's code for, I want my second free drink, God damn it, and you're gonna get a free drink. Now those are limited, you can only do that once a day, you can't get more than one free drink per day, but like if you're with a table of three or four, all four of you can mm -hmm. each get a free drink and you can go every day except Sundays and do it so you can go on Monday order a drink get a free drink go back on Tuesday go back on Wednesday Thursday so that's like 10 to 12 free drinks if you go every day uh, that the offer is up so folks 16 millimeter go say hi to Hadi go support the show support uh, an awesome little local business 
ask for your free drink, and obviously, as always, drink responsibly, folks. Don't overdo it. Just because we're giving you a free drink means it's a reason or excuse to go wild. Keep in control. Don't get hurt. Drive safe. Drink responsibly. Oh, go wild. Yeah, no, or go wild. <laughs> hey, it ain't, it ain't on me or on or on the or on 16 millimeter. But seriously, thank you to 16 millimeter. We the show could not survive without our patrons and without our sponsors and partners. People like Hadi. Uh, I was, we love Hadi. We love him so much. We love him. We love the we love the bar. Seriously, thank you guys. Uh, and uh, we love teaming up with these. Like small young businesses mm -hmm. run by people just like us. They had these like our age, so it's just awesome to support each other. We're, oops, it's just awesome to support each other whenever we can and wherever we can. So uh, I couldn't think of a better partner to team up with than Hadi and 16 millimeter. So guys, go take advantage of that offer. Okay, uh, tell your friends, but tell your friends to watch the show so that they can get in on it. So that we're also, you know what I mean? It's only fair. So yeah. Okay, Ailefani, folks. It is a YouTube channel. Someone, a viewer, sent it in again. I cannot remember. I'm sorry. My, this is why I tell you guys to send everything to the Do Not Worry Instagram account because I can no longer keep track. I forget who sent it and when. So and I, I can keep track, so send them to Do Not Worry. Yeah, like I can't give anyone any credit because they just send me this up. Like I forget everything. So uh, sorry about this. But Ailefani, it is a YouTube account of a Lebanese family and where there's a character like a recurring character uh, who's like completely in blackface mm -hmm. uh isma asinat this is so weird this is obviously this is horrible content we're just gonna watch very short clips then no <laughs> so bad horrible. uh horrible. this is the first clip from one of their videos here we go Obviously, Machas, the kids, the Matrin, these kids. Shufa, this is their character, folks. This is a dude in total blackface. والله يا خالو امبارح كنت عند خالتك نور وعم نحكي كيف بدنا نساعد اسينات وبادنا ونزلت عند صاحب الدكانه بهدلته وهددته ووصل خالك محمد كمان بهدله وهدده ايه وشو صار يا خالو يعني اقتنع وخاف وبده يعطي بادما لاما اسينات اسينات يس اسينات ليه مستغربين هيك اسينات كثير مغيره ما عرفتك مدغيره للابشع ولا God, this is so bad. Anyway, so bad. it's like this sitcom. It's a family, whatever the fuck, okay? They have a lot more. Like, if you go through their thumbnails, uh, this is another video with Asinat. And the, look how that's so fucked up, bro. It's like Hatin Petrol. Like, ultimate blackface. Ultimate blackface. Yeah, it's like, like two blackface. Only another video. They have a little child in blackface as well. Another one where. More blackface, more blackface. I know, but like only for their channel is this is like their thing. Yeah, like Asinat is like a main character on whatever series they got going on. Here's another clip from another video, just Asaria. In Malala ya Mohsinin, in Malala ya Mohsinin, in Malala ya Mohsinin. آه يا أسينات آه سرتي شهادي أسينات سرتي شهادي كلهم زعبوك من البيت لأنك سريعة أسينات وهدي سريعة. So and like kids watch this stuff, bro. Like no adults are gonna watch this garbage. Sri Lanka me, Sri Shahade, Sri Lanka me, Sri Shahade. Bin Malala ya Mohsinin. Yeah, it's horrible. Super offensive. Islamu, Islamu, ktir. Allah khalilak ahlak ya Rab. They're making her a thief too. They're making Asinat a thief. Anyways, this is horrible. Like families just put this on for their kids. They, they, they turn off their brains. Yalla, yalla, ulayt hadaru YouTube. This this is the shit they put on. So and the fact that they had a little kid in blackface too. Like this is just teaching young people. It's all about the children, folks. Why won't anyone think of the children? Eh, but like, I know. Horrible. I know this is horrible. Eh, but I know a lot of people, especially I know, بينين عايشين like ما أزدش عن جد ما أزدش قصة الضيعة وهيك بس هم بينين عايشين بضيعة I know. They're not really that educated, you know? 
انه بلاك فيس وهيك دو اي بليم ذيم لا از ات هوربل ستيل اي اتس هوربل هلا يا ما بليمينغ بس انه اف ذي نو هاو تو جيت اون يوتيوب اند ابلود فيديوز اند ستف اند ميك ا هول سيت كوم اي ام شور ذي نو بيتر انه لا انه بلاك فيس از رون بس اون وات سايد اوف ذا انترنت ار ذي اون ذات سايد ذا شيت يا او ذا دارك ويب ذا ستف بلونجز ان ذا دارك ويب اني وايز So that's Ali Fanny, you guys. Um, Horrible yeah. show. I'm not all that outraged. Yeah, I'm not like trying to get these people canceled, but you know, like I'm just, I can say my feeling. But yeah, I mean, it's super fucked up. It is super, um, hey, it backwards, and mm-hmm. uh, we don't like it. Shada, we talked a lot about Joseph Shada last <laughs> week. He's been making a comeback. Food videos, Shuma Betkun. There was Live. one more video. There was a it, lives. There was one video that we didn't talk about last week. And we'll talk about it this week. Shada posted he did a live, a TikTok live with uh, Rebecca Yamin. I met Rebecca in Kamal Nami's uh, mm-hmm. Dream Park video. She's very cool. She's also a big Spider-Man fan. So uh, props to that. And they got into the discussion of like men and women having sex, how women are judged and men are not. And Rebecca makes some good points. Shada, as usual, makes some. Yeah, Shada, خلاص ما بدنا بقى هيك قصص. في حدا قال انت مع العلاقه قبل الجواز؟ انا ما بس هلا عم فكر انه مثلا هيدي البنت اذا بتعملها مع شخص بتعملها مع كذا شخص بنت بحق لها تعمل مع مين ما بدها وقد ما بدها هيدا جسمها بالنهايه مثل ما شباب كثير بيعملوا مع حيلا بنت ليه ما بتطلعوا حكي على الشباب؟ ليه بتطلعوا بس حكي على البنات؟ مش ذات الشيء ما فيك تقارني بلا اكيد فيك تقارن اذا بدكم تيجوا تحكوا عن جسم المرأة هو <تصفيق> 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 ويد هيديك ما عندها حنفيه يعني صار تغير بس نحن عايشين بمجتمع وين الشاب بيعمل البدية واذا عملها بيصير رجال وصاري اذا البنت عملتها هي بتكون صارت شرفت شي عون everything she's saying is true uh, i love i love the shadow's face like when he smiles he knows he fucked up he's like oh fuck and then هون اي ذن بيحط كومنت تحت الفيديو this video does not represent my opinion or rebecca's opinion about any subject Ignore everything that was said in okay. this video. Nothing is true. No, what Rebecca said, I'm sure this represents what she thinks. Inta, mm-hmm. uh, Shada, you regret what you said. But the first time he's like, I'm not with the family before the divorce, but I'm thinking about it. What are you thinking about, bro? It's okay. It's wrong. You know, it's, you know what you're saying is wrong. I don't want to talk about these topics and my topics. Don't let me go all insanity on your ass. Okay. Let's move on to the next topic. So there's this there was this piece of news that I saw on Twitter that I found honestly kind of funny. Uh, Mark Bryan, influencer known for his love of wearing skirts and heels, blames the LGBTQIA community for the public perceiving him as gay. I've tried to separate myself from the LGB community. They've made it worse for me being straight because now I'm assumed to be gay. And here are some photos of him in uh, wearing like skirts and heels. Now. <laughs> Mark Bryan. Okay, Mark, maybe you should blame the community in general instead of the LGBTQ community. Look at that لا. stud though. Hala, I'm con- Look, I'm going to make, when I see, if I see someone cross-dressing or wearing heels, I will make the assumption that they are gay. If that makes me a homophobe, if that makes me a shitty person. It doesn't. You can make the assumption that they are gay, but you shouldn't blame the LGBTQ community. It's no, like, no. To me, I, I would assume that because... the. If I ever, if I've ever seen a crossdresser or someone like wearing heels, they generally they tend to be gay, which I don't think is a generalization. Maybe it is to some degree. I'm sure like Mark is an exception. If I had seen those photos, I would have definitely assumed that Mark was gay or like a, you know what I mean? Like at the very least, or that he maybe does. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I'm. I'm but I don't want to get cancelled. None of I us want to get cancelled. He's gay, but I'm closeted as fuck. Hala, probably. Hala, let's. This is where I kind of get confused. So first, let's read a quick article to, to kind of you know, expand on what he said. So straight man who wears skirts and high heels slams LGBT community for everyone thinking he's gay. A straight married father of three who likes to wear skirts, dresses and heels has lashed out at the LGBT, uh, LGBTIQ plus community for making things worse for him. Mark Bryan, a 62 year old American robotic engineer who lives in Germany, is like any other bloke from Texas, except his wardrobe consists of sky-high stilettos and pencil skirts. That's because he believes clothing should be genderless. So when he's at home, work, or around town, Brian typically dons a shirt with a skirt and some heels because that's what he likes. Hey, good for you, man. Ain't nobody good judging. For you. However, while he's out promoting, however, while he's out there promoting genderless clothing, he doesn't have very positive things to say about the gay community. In a clip from his appearance on a new docu-series, Beyond Fashion, Brian told the visibly shocked beauty guru of Queer Eye Germany, Avi Jacobs, that he doesn't want to be associated with them. 
I tried to separate myself from the LGBTQ community because of the gay community that wore skirts and high heels before I did, Brian said. I feel like they actually made it worse for me, being straight, because now I am assumed to be gay. Uh, I think they've made it difficult for themselves by just being more flamboyant. I think they're too outrageous and too flamboyant, he said. Uh, speaking to Bored Panda, Mark explained, I dress like this because I can, just to be different. I have always admired that women that wore tight skirts and heels. Not sexually, but the power they presented. I don't dress to be sexual, but to dress like any professional woman would. To me, clothes have no gender. I prefer uh, skirts to dresses. Then he finally says, dresses don't allow me to mix the genders. I prefer a masculine look above the waist and a non-gendered look below the waist. It's all about clothes having no gender. Now, here's when you look at the photos, when you look at the top left photo, it's actually, he does kind of look straight when I think about it. Now, when, now, yeah, I make the assumption that he's gay just because of the skirts. But if you block out the, the bottom half, now look at this, for example, okay? No, what are you? Stop looking at yourself and look at this <laughs> guy. <laughs> Does this not look like a straight man? <laughs> Just the top. He's like, hey, oh, hey, baby, what's going on? But then you scroll yeah, down. It it's like, hey, look, he can work those heels pretty well, though. But he, I do get him. man. he does have the top half is very straight looking. And then the bottom half goes to fabulous. Yep. You know what I mean? But said, no, people assuming he's gay. I think that's fine, bro. I mean, yeah, it is kind of gay. I don't know how else to say it. But then, is that Ed, he's open, why is he so offended as that people are assuming he's gay? Yeah, exactly. Like, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be upset. And like, he kind of looks like a mix between, like, my body, what's his name? God, Academy Award winning actor. He played Gandhi. What's his name? He looks like Professor X. He kind of looks like Professor X, uh, Professor X slash, I forgot the name of the other actor. Ben Kingsley. He looks like Professor X and Ben Kingsley. When he looks like a fucking spy. But that top left photo where he's wearing purple, mm -hmm. the top half of that photo, this is, that's my favorite right here. He's like, hey, how's hey. it going? Anyways, what do you guys think? And I think, I assumed he was gay. Again, nothing, not that like there's anything wrong with that or, you know, more love to you, if anything, man. You do you, Mark Bryan, okay? But anyways, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. More stuff that I found on Twitter that was a little, that was kind of funny. Every Lebanese couple looks like this, which is somewhat true. You know, we have a lot of, women that look like that with the you know plastic surgery and stuff and the makeup and then the just random ugly ass looking dudes where you're with like the hair the hair is that with the hair but so you're like how did how did you pull that lady you know what i mean just all these ugly ass motherfuckers with these beautiful <laughs> women how does that happen money and personality i guess hey who knows yeah if he's funny if he's funny i guess yeah yeah works uh, for me what else we got? What's the last one we got? The oh yeah yeah this one was kind of funny. Uh Lebanese married that we got this here's a tweet so uh, Assad tweets that a Lebanese American Hezbollah supporter with the most nasal Midwestern accent you've ever heard urging Muslims and other people of faith to vote Republican because the Democrats are too woke. Lol, this realignment is wild. So this week in the States, there's uh, like the midterm elections happening on Tuesday. They're happening as we film this right now. So here's a guy, here's a Hezbollah Muslim supporter urging other Arabs to vote for Republicans. By the way, Republicans hate Arabs and they hate Muslims. So I don't know what he's thinking, but siyalla. at least they're not woke, right? I keep receiving questions on my take on why Muslims shouldn't vote for Democrats. And here's why. Democrats talk a lot about diversity, but they don't want real diversity. They don't want inclusion for Muslims as Muslims. They want inclusion for Muslims on the condition that we privilege woke ideology over our Islamic values. They want us to privatize our faith and hide it away. And that's why they lie about the meaning of separation between church and state. They want Muslims to believe that in America, faith has no place in public life. That's what the Democrats are trying to do for Muslims, for Christians, for Jews, and for people of all faiths. They want a secular, godless society that effectively bans religion from public life. That's why as a Muslim, I won't support Democrats with my vote. And if you're a person of faith, then neither should you. Man, like if Republicans... <laughs> take control they want to fucking like they want the u.s government to be straight up christian they don't even want you to be in the country mishpas they want you to hide your faith they don't want you to be there they want you to pack your shit and go back home to where you came from in this case fucking lebanon bro you want to be back here and get some fucking cholera like i don't know to me lebanese people who go to the states and become republicans they just want to assimilate they just want to feel like they belong they feel like the more like a white person i am go trump woo trump 2020 like that's literally all it is man it's these Arabs that want to belong and they don't know how they want to belong, so they go 
to the fucking extreme right. Not that Democrats are any good. Democrats fucking suck. Democrats are all about promoting diversity and all that stuff just for like the labels. Mm. Like, oh, we have a the first half black female vice president. Even though she's fucking horrible, nobody likes Kamala Harris. She's never done anything good in her in her, like her 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 career. Yet they just fucking anointed her as a vice president because she's black and she's a woman. It's the, that's kind of how it works over there. Anyways, but I just like Buffum, I know people like that, especially like super religious people. I know they go Republican, I know same kind of beliefs, same kind of beliefs, but different flavor. <laughs> They're very different flavor, more extreme flavor. And at the end of the day, bro, the Christians don't even like you. The Christians want mm -hmm. a more Christian government. They don't want a more religious government. They want it to be straight up Christian. So you ain't got. There's no place for you there, bro. And yeah, he's from exactly. and he's from Dearborn, Michigan, which is like Arab land. Dearborn, Michigan, killa Lebaniye, killa Arab. It's fucking insane over there. Okay, folks, we're back to A cup. We're, we're almost we're almost at the the taste test. Okay, and we're excited to try these. I'm getting kind of hungry. I'm not gonna lie to you. So let's see if these A cups uh, fill the spot. But we have a little bit more. Uh, Anna, our boy Elid Abul from Darwish Market visited the A cup factory after this whole controversy. He wanted to go reassure the people that you know A cup is is they, they're what they say they are. بما يأكد عن مصداقيتي مع الناس جيت على المعمل اتصل فيهم وطلبت انه شوفوا هيدا البرودوي كيف بيتصنع وقد ايه بحط له بروتين يلا بدنا نشوف البروتين بعيوننا رح نعملها اليوم 26 كيلو اهم مكون فيها نط المحمص يلي بناخده وبنطحنه نط حمصناه طحناه هلا وقت نجيبه على الميكسر فنحطه ونخلطه مع الشيء السحري يلي يعني بحطه ما حيخبرونا عنه اكيد يلا خلصت العجينه هلا وقت نزينا I thought it'd be there, he's in at one point. I'm like, hey. He's like, oh, like, so scientific, so accurate. <laughs> That's how they measure the protein. <laughs> What's up with all this epic music? Make him kill a copyright. This is the one we have. Anyways, Honel Darwish visiting uh, A-Cup. كمان بتذكر ويلنس كوتش نرجع نحكي عن ويلنس كوتش وقد ما ويلنس كوتش از انفستد ان ذس هول ثينج عامل ريأكشن هو اللي عم بيحضر الدرويش از الدرويش از واكينج اراوند وعم بياكل اي كاب ديورينج ذا هول ثينج شوفوا قديش ذس جاي از ديديكيتد قديش هيز ا سيل اوت يعني ما بعرف عم بمزح شوف بكل شهيه نحن ما وي دونت لايك يو ويلنس كوتش وي دونت لايك يو ويلنس كوتش وي نوت فانز اوف يورز يا ويلنس كوتش هلا وي جيت باك تو يو Should we do wellness coach before the taste test? Oh, we'll tell our nephews now. What do you think? No, hello, taste test. Taste test. All right, folks, it's time. معنا قدامنا كذا أصناف من الأي كاب. هيدا أصناف كمان كلمة تعلمناها من الدكتور فود. هيدا أنا هون عند قدام الدبل شوكليت والكافي دريم. كافي دريم مش هدوء كذا. I don't fuck with coffee. ولا أنا. We have. رح نعمل مقارنة كمان. سنة أنا عندي فانيلا آيس كريم and red berries. We're gonna taste all of them. All from the same cup. يعني each one has a spoon. وعندنا بدنا نعمل مقارنة كمان فوكس دكتور فود ستايل ومثل our friends هشام وشربل on their show هشام and شربل تيست لبنانيز برودكتس هون this is Poem it's another Lebanese brand بيعملوا كمان بروتين كابس رح نعمل مقارنة بين البوام والاي كاب حبيبي come to the so I don't know what to start with let's start with the a cups We're gonna taste all of their flavors. Let's keep one on the jenab in case we're gonna try to make a test with IRI. Eh, let the coffee. Coffee one on the jenab for fifty bucks. Hey, pass me a spoon, please. Pass me one of them spoons. Thank you, ma'am. So, hold it down. I'm my double chocolate. Which one are you opening up? Vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. Yeah, I'm a vanilla girl. And I'm I'm a chocolate guy. So let's try this this double chocolate. My stomach is pretty rumbling, and I'm not gonna break one. Maybe I should have gotten spoons from the kitchen. This spoon might break. It's here, I'm taking a spoonful. This is too sweet. I don't have personally. I don't have a problem with sweetness. 
I kind of like it. It tastes pretty nice, but yeah, it's very yeah, it sweet. It tastes good, but it's super sweet. Yeah, this tastes like a dessert. How many... So this, by the way, headed A cup. It says Fia 25 grams of protein. Mm -hmm. Not sure I can taste it. So I think because they put a lot of sugar in there. It only says there's two and a half grams of sugar, which does not seem right to me because this does taste a lot sweeter than two and a half grams. I'm going to have one more spoonful of this. This is good. I really like the flavor. I'm not going to lie to you guys. No, mine is good. Chocolate A-cup is good. Hey, if you have 25 grams of my if there's another kind that has more protein, the 40 gram thing or whatever, let's try the vanilla. I'm going to eat on the opposite side. The texture is super neat. Mmm. Vanilla is nice too. Vanilla or two. This is horrible. We no, don't like... No, I like the chocolate one. I hate the chocolate. You don't like chocolate in general? So you're not... Yeah, no. No, 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 you're not one to judge. Vanilla Vanilla's not bad too. It's pretty good. Trumaki. No, no, vanilla. <laughs> Trumaki onigin. What's that other one? Um, red berries. You tried it? No. So this is red berry? Mm -hmm. Red berries. They don't taste a lot like protein. Normally protein, like when you have these protein shakes or protein bars, there's a very... This thing tastes the protein. I've never tasted protein. They've, they've done a good job hiding that flavor or they're, they're hiding it by not having enough protein. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Please don't sue us. Don't come after us. If anything, sponsor us. No, I had super tired. This is a tasty product, guys. It doesn't taste bad at all, to be honest with you. It's the first time I ever have an A cup. So, they taste pretty nice. So, we've had the so chocolate hard. one. We've had the vanilla one and we've had the red berry. If you coffee dream, neither of us here likes coffee. Did you like coffee? Red berries, I don't like. Really? I liked it. I don't even like berries normally. Now, let's try the other brand, Poem. Anna. Raspberry salted caramel, cheesecake, and uh, peanut butter. Okay. I'm going to try the cheesecake one. That, to me, was the most tempting. Visually... Looks very similar. This has zero grams of sugar, though. This has zero percent refined. Ooh, refined sugar. Are they trying to trick us? Oh, no, they do have sugars. Seven grams of sugar, just not refined sugar. So this has more sugar than the A cup, I guess. Let's see. So cheesecake, let's try this. This has the crust on top, can no? So they flipped it. Why are they so hard? This is harder. I can go get metal spoons from the kitchen. That's what I do not know. So this is chewier. Hakala peanut butter and like super hard peanut butter. This tastes like an ice cream kind of. It's not bad. Also kind of sweet. The texture is different. You don't like this? That's just peanut butter? Actually, peanut butter is such a lame flavor to buy. It's just like... I'm not a picky eater. Try the cheesecake, Kamena. Cheesecake isn't bad, but I would definitely give the advantage. In terms of flavor to A-cup, this has a slightly different texture. These are so hard. Here, try this one. I'm going to try the... the peanut butter, yeah, if, if they fuck up the peanut butter one, then like it's just... Peanut butter. How can you fuck that up? You know what I mean? Mm. Okay. Now the peanut butter one is is like a drier, thicker peanut butter with more protein. I would just recommend eating regular peanut butter mm -hmm. instead of a peanut butter cup. Well, this is what? Raspberry salted caramel. Raspberry salted caramel. I think this is going to be the one that breaks my spoon. Cheesecake looks good. Cheesecake is, is actually pretty good. Okay. Raspberry salted caramel. Mm. The raspberry flavor tastes very um, chemically. Very processed. Cheesecake is my favorite. Are you ready to give a verdict? Mm -hmm. I'd say maybe the A-cups are better flavor. For the three A-cup flavors that we tried, I quite liked the double chocolate. I thought the vanilla was pretty nice, and I liked their... Um, Red berry, what was the other A cup? Red berries. Red berries. I liked I liked all three flavors. Maybe the vanilla was my least favorite because it felt the most processed. Vanilla is the best one. Ba and uh, for the other brand, the Poem 
ones their their cheesecake is pretty cheesecake good wins. the peanut butter one is just straight up peanut mm -hmm. butter and the raspberry one was a bit coming a two process tasting best i mean hey if these things actually have uh, a dose the, the dose of protein that they say they do they're a good snack but they're just maybe a bit too heavy in sugar yeah and this is mm -hmm. more of a dessert snack like this is very much like a dessert slash protein thing it's not just for protein like there's a lot of sugar in there so just keep that in mind they both taste pretty good by the way how much did you pay so on a three poem cups cost me thin i got three of them yeah um, each one for like yeah it's 90th hour or something i know for four the fat uh, 250. 250 for four. So, so, um, so, we bought them from different places, so maybe that's uh, we're almost done. This is too sweet. We ate a lot, and we ate like five of them. We ate like I don't know. This is heavy. I'm filthy protein. Hello, we got our boy, uh, wellness coach Muhammad, folks. He responded to us. Uh, we talked about him last week. He's the guy who's uh, here. Let's check it out. بعطولي هذا الفيديو منزله الشاب اسمه أنتوني على يوتيوب بدكم تفوتوا على دي أربعين وطلوع بتشوفوا شو عم نحكي عني. باي ذوي كتير مبسطة إنه نحكي عني. 60-70% شيء بوزيتيف والباقي مش بوزيتيف الشيء المش بوزيتيف انه ليه انا متمسك باي كاب قال وما بعرف شو انا باي ذا ويب تربطني علاقة بينه وبين مدير الاي كاب صاحب شركة الاي كاب مش لانه بدي يكون سبونسر انا ديجا سبونسر لقلون وقريبا حينزلوا هني منتجات كتير قوية وجداد هيدا لحتى تعرفوا انه انا عارف قبل He's a sponsor and a friend سبونسر من قبل بلاس عن هيك وحتى لو كنت سبونسر عن جديد أو لو بتربطني على جديدة معه أول شيء أنا بفتخر إنه زلم لبناني مشغل خمسين عائلة لبنانية منتج لبناني ما بيجي بخف فيه بتأكد قبل وأنا قلت بالفيديو إنه أنا لما بدي أحكي شيء شوف دراسة علمية وبنزلها باي ذا وي بالنسبه للشاب اللي عم بيقول انه فلتر وما فلتر ومكبر عيوني انا مدير الاي كاب اول ما شافني قال لي محمد ليه بتبين اضعف على الكاميرا تفاجئ فيني ما بتحكي عن حتى بجسمي انا الف... <تصفيق> ما بتحكي عنه هيك الايج عم بيحكي عن عيونك انا عم بحكي الفلتر لبشرتك يور سكين برو هيدا اتس ذا 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 ياسيفاينج ثينج نو وان سكين جلوز لايك ذات ذاتس ذا فلتر اللي انا عم بحكي عنه وبالنسبة للبنوت اللي قالت انه هي بيج فان وكثير بتحبني ما قالت بيج فان ايه اصلا منا بنوت ما بتقول لها بنوت وما قالت بيج فان وكثير بتحبك وي نيفر سيد ذات جو باك ورجع احضر الحلقة قالت هي مايت بي ا نايس بيرسون ايه يمكن يو ار نايس جاي في فرق روق انه انا المرة بعت لها فويس لقيم مين انت؟ ما بعرفك اول مرة بشوفك مين انت؟ انت مين؟ بعتذر يا عمري اذا ضيقتك بس يا عمري؟ جود بعتذر يا عمري اذا ضيقتك كمان ليتس ليس هيرز ذا ايفيدنس هيرز ذا فويس نوت ذات هي سنت ها هون ثانية فور كونتاكس انا كنت بعتت له فويس نوتس اذا في بعت لي ذا اوريجينال فيديوز تبع وقتها بلشت الدراما تبعي اكزاكتلي ذيس از هيز ريسبونس بدي اعتذر منك انا ما حفوت حالي بهالطوشة حبيبتي انت لانه ما حل زلمة فيديوز تعوليته و حبيبتي وقعدت انا مع مدير الايكف وخلص بدنا نضب الموضوع ما بقى بدنا نفتح نحكي من الموضوع لانه نضب الزلمة ما توجعي راسك من المواضيع دونت يو ثينك ذات واز شوي لئيم إيرز لأيم وحبيبتي إيه مضب الزلمة وهيك عم يعني بيحكي عنك ون uh, محمد الدايتش عم ديعب بين التو محمد no offense guys uh, anyways he had a beef with Lynn Sanity when حنا we had a you know a little thing with Lynn Sanity I I made the the grave error of of uh, of uh, speaking shit about her when I shouldn't have mm -hmm. uh, calling her obnoxious when it was uh, pointless she was right she called me out on it I apologized. Uh, I found out that she had a beef with the uh, with Muhammad. So let's see uh, let's see what happened. This is the video that Muhammad nazal oof 3 minutes. Yeah, we're not going to watch it. كله. Let's watch 30 seconds of this. أول شيء كلمة معنسة هي ترجمة باللغة العامية لكلمة عانس. موجودة بمعجم اللغة العربية. ما فينا نشطبها. ليه ما بدك تبلعيها؟ بعدين مترجمة بالقرآن والباقيات الصالحات. تمام؟ الله عارف إنه في بنات ما حيتزوجوا. هلا العنوسة إلى كذا سبب لبنان يحتل المرتبة الأولى بالعنوسة أقول لكم ليش ليش؟ بدكم أقول لكم ليش؟ واللي بده يزعل يزعل واللي بده يرضى يرضى ليش المدام معنسة؟ لأنه صار عندك يا ديموزيل زنا تحت اسم مساكنة كثير مرقوا بنات بحياتي 
انا عليك قد ما حدا صريح يطلع على بالي مثلا يعني كثير مرق بنات بحياتي اجى لمارس شهوتي معهم شاب انا اعصب سنجل مارس شهوتي شو يعني هاف سكس؟ عندي معاصي مارس مارس شهوتي قديما يعني بغض النظر هلا ولا قديم خلاص انا هيك انا زلمه بخاف من رب العباد ما بخاف من العباد اللي عندي بقول لكم اياه آه في بنات قال ما يقبلوا اول ما اتعرف عليهم الا ليش تقول لي انت منك حبيبي يعني اذا كانت حبيبه بتخليني يعني يبقى التحرش عند الانثى تحرشا الا عندما ياتي من رجل يحلو لها حينها يصبح غزلا اوكي اي دونت ذس مايت بي فروم القران ما بعرف وي دونت نيد تو جيت انتو ذات سو اي جيس اونلي لين كومنتس اون هيز فيديو ار جيرل لين سانيتي اند ذات سيز خلينا ساكتين احسن ما الانبياء والقديسين تنزل كلها على الارض سو هون اي جيس هي ريسبونس تو هير كومنت كمان ثلاث دقائق يا ربي هيدي نظرية المساواة بين الرجل والمرأة أنا معها بجوانب معينة لحد إنه ما تخالف الدين الإسلامي اللي هو ديني الله قال الرجال قوامون على النساء فينا نوت واتش كله كذا لينز فيديو هاز كليبس وأنا أم نوت مسلم سو لايك وأم نوت إيفن I'm not religious in any way. I'm not Christian. Yeah, I'm, I'm an atheist. I'm a whatever you want to call it, agnostic. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Is my answer to, to life? What What is the universe? What is life? What is God? I don't know, and we'll find out <laughs> maybe something when we die, or I'll die and life will become nothing, and that's all it is. So hey, I'm not gonna. If all he's gonna talk about is the Quran and stuff like that, that is on him. Those are his beliefs. I got. I don't know anything about him. I'm probably not gonna agree. Let's watch 20 more seconds, but send no. I don't want to seem disrespectful yeah, to anyone's religion. It's just not something that I subscribe to or care about. يصرف عليها يحميها. معناتها طبيعة الأنثى الله خلقها تحتاج إلى رجل. Okay, I see where this is going. We don't need to watch yeah, more. Let's, not. let's watch Lynn's response. Let's check it out. Come in, Atleta Dai. Lynn will give you a minute and a half, I think. And then, uh... You obviously wanted my attention. تكرم عينك. You got it. أول نقطة حكيت فيها على دقيقة ونص اللي هي عن البيولوجيكلي سبيكينج كيف المرة والرجال مختلفين عن بعضهم ما بظن أنا شي مرة بالفيديو السبع جيت قلت لك إنه لا they are not فأنه رح أتخطى الدقيقة ونص اللي ضيعت وقتك فيهم ويمكن مش قاطع عليك بحياتك حدا يحط لك النقط على الحروف أنا رح أعمل هالشي رح أحط لك نقطة ونقطة على كل حرف رح جرب سقفك قد ما فيك جاتش سو ناكشس ام كيدنج ام كيدنج طلعت فشخلة على السوشيال ميديا ما بظن انت بتعرف شو هو المصطلح اللي هو سلات شيمينج بس انا اليوم على بالي اكون منيحة كثير فرح فسر لك سلات شيمينج هو بس تجي تقول انه قاطع عليك 700 شاب دقيقة يعني بوينت باي بوينت مثل ما قالت وشي اكسبلينز ايفري ثينج سلولي شي تيكس هير تايم فيري ارتيكولت بحكي او كرامة انهانت بس كون اكيد انت اللي عم تعمله هو بس انك عم بتبرهن كل نقطة انا بحكي عنها للتوضيح فقط لانه ما بظن دماغك كثير استوعب فخليني ساعده يستوعب بس احكي عن شباب انا ما بكون عم بحكي يعني وات يو كول وومن هوز نوت ميريد معمسه معنسه معنسه وذ دي معنسه معنسه منعوسه نو ذاتس نوت ورد معنسه معنسه اي لايك ذات وورد منعوسه احكي عن شباب انا ما بكون عم بحكي ميرلي اون بيرسونال اكسبيرينس انا عم بحكي عن مجتمع كلنا عايشين فيه وحضرتك منه والبيت لما بدها تطلع بدها تطلع تحكي باسم النساء او باسم الانوثه لازم يكون عندها انوثه شكلا ومضمونا يعني شكلا عفوا بهالكلمه لما اطلع فيك تصادي بهالكلمه انت على عيني وراسي بس انه مش جلد وعظمه يعني وين الانوثه يعني <تصفيق> الانثى تتميز عن الرجل بحجم الثدي وحجم المؤخره وحجم الحوض طب انا هون ما عم لاقي هون عندك آه. عندك طب عم تطلع هيك يعني طب ما في حجم no, الثدي no, 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 no. لا 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 باص 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 لا الثدي. بوبز يا اوكي سو هي بيسكلي سيد انه ا وومن ازنت ا وومن انليس شي هاز لايك بيج بوبز اند ا بيج اس اند لايك هيك سموت اوف ا ستمك ذات شوز هير يوترس هيدا الثدي نو الثدي ار بوبز ثدي وين سم جود شيت تو ذا 
هادي ومعنسه يعني احسن ان اذر تيرمز حل عنا محمد حل عن المؤخره تبعي شو رايك؟ اه متميز اللي حضرتك ما عم تفهمها هي حل عنا كلنا يا محمد وللمراه بيتعيروا بالمؤخره او بالثدي او بالحوض او بالعضلات بيتعيروا بهالثلاثه سنتي اللي ربنا نعمهم علينا بس يا بيا وام عنده مشاكل بالبيت عم تفش خلق على السوشيال ميديا عندك كره تجاه رجال مش طبيعي او يا خيي مرق على راسه يا لين واي يو هيت مان سو ماتش ما كاميرا سوري فولكس ذا كاميرا از باك اول رايت ليتس كونتينيو راسه شباب ما بعرف بعدين تقبر قلب امك ما حدا يتعدى على مصلحه حدا يعني بلا تحليلات نفسيه هات لك علي تحليلات نفسيه ترك علي مصلحتي هات يعني اذا انا بدي اقعد حلل جو بيتك كيف وجو اهلك كيف منفوت بيوتي باجي ما بنخلص منه وبختتم هالفيديو كله باني اقول انه انا ما بعمر حكيت بالعاطل عن الرجال انا بحكي بالعاطل عن الذكوره لانه في فرق كثير كثير كبير بين انك تكون رجال وانك تكون ذكر ما هيك يا ذكر انا ما حدا يدق فيني انا ما حدا يدق فيني And uh, folks, that's it for our latest episode, episode number 75 of Do Not Worry. I have been your host, Anthony Noor, has been your co-host and the uh, crew member for this episode. Thank you to some of our lovely blonde patrons like Rana, Rudolf, Joseph Sarkis, Jad Al Haj, Karim Haber, uh, Mariana, Danya Hawat, Queen Ezzo and her Excalibur. And Celine Ash and superhero patrons like Rhea D, Joey To, Daniel Nakhle, Dr. William Watt for the boobs, doctor. Ahmad and Lamia, Joe Ghal, Mo Kabara, and our God tier patrons, folks. Jessica Ann, Muhammad Namani, 69ing Monkeys, Andrew G, and Jack Sleeman, baby. And of course, 16 Millimeter, our beloved sponsor for this week. Uh, go to 16 Millimeter in Jamaica, ask for a cocktail, tell the waiter or bartender, do not worry, and get do a second. Worry. Get a second cocktail on us on 16 millimeter. Thank you. You can do that from November 10th up until November 24th. So don't miss out on that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, literally, six... kill kunta wa Lebanon. Hello. Ta'a Lebanon and enjoy some uh, some delicious free drinks. Thank you as always. Please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, become a Do Not Warrior, and uh, subscribe to our Patreon if you'd like to keep supporting the show. If you want us to, if you want me to keep uh, Nul and Elijah around, support the show. If you want better equipment. New mics? Oh. New mics? <laughs> no new mics, no new mics. But anyways, you know, we couldn't do this without Patreon. So to all our patrons, we love you. Thank you. Thank you to 16mm. And as always, folks. Do not worry.